Trace, uh, I, I recognize you probably never tell us exactly what Coach said at halftime of the Michigan game last season. But that was a moment that really kind of turned a lot around for you guys last year. <clears throat> what do you tell guys, young guys like Jalen, or even just remind each other as veterans who went through it last year, this experience, not the NCAA tournament, but the Big Ten tournament, what it takes to prepare and, and succeed in a really short window? No, absolutely. Um, you just got to play your game. Um, we kind of talked about it a little bit. Um, the games are just like this, so you got to be ready to play. You got to be on top of everything with, when it comes to scouting, um, getting your body right, um, because it's a quick turnaround. And um, I know he's going to be ready. He's a great player. So we just got to take it one game at a time, though. So we're going to see who wins, Minnesota or Maryland, and then we'll take it from there. What's kind of the preparation like that when you don't know who you're going to play yet? Um, yeah, you just wait and see. You kind of go over scouting things with both of the teams. Um, we, like last night, we were waiting to see if Nebraska or Minnesota was going to win. And so um, we just got to wait and see, and we kind of know some of their actions and what they're going to do, their main stuff, and then we'll go on to it and more in-depth tomorrow. Fino was, uh, he was just named uh, one of the finalists for the uh, National Freshman of the Year. What's, what's put them beyond, what's put them in a position to be that good as a freshman? Um, I just think it's maturity, honestly. I just think that, especially when X going down, um, we relied on him heavily, just being a lead ball handler and uh, just in the thick of the Big Ten season. Like, uh, when you come in and you're a freshman and you're playing in hostile environments and Big Ten environments and you can do the things that he's done, especially like at Purdue and stuff of that nature, um, it just shows you his potential and how good he is, honestly. Jay, when uh, you know X has been out since December, I know you guys are tight and talk a lot. Can you just talk a little bit about what the last couple of months have been like and what he's tried to help you with going forward and kind of through this Big Ten drive? Yeah, I mean, obviously no one expected X to go out this early, or I mean, to go out at all. So him being out, he definitely put a lot of weight on my shoulders, especially running the show at point guard. And, you know, him being an experienced guy, him being in college for years, he's just, you know, give me his knowledge and help, help me out when he can. Jalen, uh, this being your first Big Ten tournament, uh, this type of situation, what, what have you done to, to prepare? What have you talked to the older guys, talked to Trace and those guys about what it's going to take to uh, not only play in this, but potentially win this? I mean, at the end of the day, it's basketball, so we already know what we came here to do. Um, a lot of times in you know this tournament, we're going to play teams that we already played multiple times, so it's going to come down to the, you know, mental mistakes or whatever, so we just got to stay locked in and you know, be prepared. So I feel like we've been going hard these last couple of days, and you know we're excited to get out there and play. No matter, who, no matter who wins, you're not playing with somebody who's you faced multiple times. But that means they haven't faced you multiple times Friday night. You only played Maryland once, you only played Minnesota once. Yeah, Do you see already, that so. as any kind of advantage that they only got one look at you in the regular season? Um, I think at the end of the day, just the Big Ten, um, not really Jalen in a sense, but most of the teams that we played against, like Minnesota, and Maryland, um, they kind of uh, have the same supporting cast and same team players that they had last year. And I just think that it comes down to who executes better. So um, it's going to be our execution versus them and who's more solid and who gets more stops on defense. Trace, we talked about it after senior day, just what it would be like not having to claw your way into postseason play. Now you guys are here. You've been able to take that rest. How do you feel physically now that you've been able to kind of take that break and breathe? Uh, absolutely. It's, it's, it's huge, honestly. Um, and we're here competing for something. Obviously, last year we were too, but at the same time, we had that um, little like anxiety almost in the back of our minds of not making the tournament. So we were clawing and scratching, and we still got to do those things, but we can play a lot more relaxed. We can play our type of basketball, and um, we're just ready to get out there and get started. Jalen, um, Trace obviously is up for a number of National Player of the Year awards. If somebody came to you and said, okay, as a teammate, make a case from what you see, what would you tell them? As far as why you should win National Player of the Year? I mean, it's pretty obvious just what he's doing on the basketball court. I mean, he's been playing great, having a historic season, so I don't get why he wouldn't win National Player of the Year. Jalen, you, uh, when X got hurt, the responsibility of being the starter was was thrust on you. How has your confidence level been when that happened and then over the course of developing as a starter? Uh, you know, how, how how's your own confidence been as you've gone through a process that maybe came a little earlier than it might have otherwise? Yeah, I mean, I was starting when X was here. So, um, yeah, my confidence has been the same, but obviously having the ball in my hands more, it gave me more confidence to go out there, play my game, and, and I think my teammates have a lot of confidence in me to go out there and make plays for them and myself, and you know, obviously the coaching staff does as well. Jalen, how much did two years of my bird help you be prepared just with all the talent you went against weekend after weekend? A lot. Um, playing a national schedule and, you know, if anything, I think it definitely helped me mentally, you know, definitely just the long practices every single day and I think it's helped my body and, you know, got me ready for you know, this point.
Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.